All right, we want to take exams at home. So we are home now remote. We're going to go to gmetrics.net. Reese, how do I do that? You're going to go to gmetrics.net. Once you're there, you log in right here. So we're going to log in really quick. I got Allison hooking it up, and she's going to lend me her username, and then she's going to go into her password. Now, I'm giving her some extra credit for, you know, giving us this demonstration. So um, obviously, we're not going to look at any of her grades or nothing like that. No judgment here. We're not going to save anything of her passwords or nothing like that. But here's the deal. When you guys get into remote settings, you're going to go to test new tests. <clears throat> After we're here, we're going to go to 2019. Don't do expert. You're doing word. All right. After we're into word, never do sort of prep. These are the ones we do in class training. You set up your notebooks. I have a whole, I'm not going over that again. We know how to set up the notebook. After training, you take testing without help using the notebook. We know that already in class. Now, hey, look, um, there's a double-edged sword to COVID. We now have the ability to take exams at home if we have remote days. Today or another day is a remote day. And if we're remote fully, this is how we do it. We're going to take concept review exams. Okay. When we're in class, we take these, skills review one, skills review two, skills review three. Remote only. I'm only allowing you to take, I'll count up to four of these exams if you finish them. Okay, so it's training one, concept review. I'm just going to, you click on training one, you take it. If you fail it or if you pass it, whatever you've missed, fill in the gaps in your notebook. And then you take testing two. Then you do the same thing. You go to concept review two, training first, fill in the gaps in the notebook, then testing. And that's it. All right, so we'll take training one, and that's how it goes. So training one and then testing mode. All right. These training modes, here's what they look like. This is what it looks like. So which tab is used to create a blank document in Word 2019? The tab, it's the file tab. I can tell you that and assure you that. So I go to next and I just gave her, a, I hooked her up with an answer. How do I get out of these exams, Reese? You know what? Um, that's a great question. So when we go to next, it gives you the question over here. So you could save and exit over here or you can click here and you go to save and exit just like it would save and exit and that's it and you're going to complete this exam all right so she's going to resume this test it shows the date that it started and everything it's all measurable just like everything else but these tests are a cinch because they're multiple choice are a lot easier and i do that while you're home inundated with work for just multiple choice you're welcome all right so that's how you're gonna you're gonna um get down with this stuff if you guys have any issues you please um contact me via teams all right and then you resume the test as such as you would just in class, but you're just remotely. Concept review. Tests, new tests. These are the ones you're doing. Word, concept reviews. Thank you. Good luck.